Hello everybody, it's Handheld Gamer here. Welcome to another one. Today I got another fantastic unboxing. Actually, this is going to be a shorter video because I only have one figure instead of two at least. But I did get another Masters of the Universe Masterverse New Eternia Skeletor. So this is awesome. So without further ado, sit back and let's check it out. Don't go away. We'll be back right after these messages. Okay, so here it is. Here is the Masters of the Universe New Attorney of Skeletor. There is front of the box. Side of the box, you get this cool artwork with Skeletor's face in there. It's pretty awesome. Back of the box. And Skeletor, Lord of e Evil Lord of Destruction, using the mastery and mystical havoc energy. The Madman Skeletor uncovered the violent spell that can forge the Scimitar of Chaos, a weapon that collects souls and grants the ultimate power to who wields it. It's an undisciplined uh, hand, however. It will bring about the end of Eternia. To be a master of the universe, he must first master death, but at what cost? Actually, that's some pretty cool artwork there. That's pretty wicked looking face. I like that artwork there. And it also comes with He-Man, the Viking, He-Man, Tila, Skeletor, and Merman. So we got all those now. Side of the box is nothing. So let's open it up. Okay, so let me put this off to the side. This is on our way. There he is in all his glory. And looks pretty awesome, so we'll fast forward through it and check it when it gets out of the box. Okay, so there is Skeletor. The new Skeletor, Lord of Destruction. This is the new Turnia version. So he looks pretty cool. Looks a little bit wicked there. As you can see, the face sculpt is pretty cool. Really like it. The armor piece just slips over and it's got a real cape. So it is kind of weird that it's loose like that. But that's the way it is. So, but it does look cool as he wears it. It is cloth cape, which is really nice. Just be careful when you take it out of the box. It's taped on each side so you don't tear your cape. And now he gets this cool sword. So let's put this in his Havoc stack in his hand and check it out. Okay, so here he is. Havoc staff is really cool, this one. This one looks really nice. It's very thick though. It's a lot thicker than the other ones. So it's pretty thick. And the sword looks cool. Different type of sword than he usually carries. Beat up the little sword. The little belt looks cool. Like I said, this little loose piece is cool, even though it's loose. Just kind of sits over there. It does look cool on him though with the uh, cloth cape. It does get one extra hand. I thought there was two. I must have misplaced one somewhere in the box. I'll have to get it. Give me a second. I didn't grab the second hand, sorry. There is the hand. So he gets one open hand, one closed fist, a different head. The basic Skeletor head we've always seen uh, in quite a few other sets. Not much difference in this version of the head. So I probably won't use that for this figure. Maybe I'll find another figure that I'll use it for. This head with the helmet is pretty cool and the Havoc Staff. Anyways, that is it for this episode. This cape is really cool too. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. And don't forget to smash that little icon bell to stay tuned for more videos. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Until next time. Hello.